when you try to categorize the different types of cells present on earth in different organisms you'd be surprised to find that all cells fit into just two simple categories prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells organisms that have prokaryotic cells are known as prokaryotes and organisms that are made up of eukaryotic cells are known as eukaryotes so whatever organism there is on earth it either fits under the category of prokaryotes or eukaryotes in this video we are going to talk about some of the differences and similarities between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells so this is an example of a prokaryotic cell bacterial cell bacteria and archaea are prokaryotes take a look at the bacterial cell we'll talk more about the different structures of bacterial cells and other prokaryotes in a later video but for now just focus on the fact that it has its dna in the form of a nucleoid what is a nucleoid nucleoid contains the dna of this prokaryotic cell in a tangled mess like this and it is a free floating structure in the cytoplasm itself so the dna is located in the cytoplasm itself and the region where the dna is located is known as the nucleoid now take a look at the animal cell in animal cell is an example of a eukaryotic cell so if you take a look at the animal cell you'd see that the dna in the form of chromatin is located within the nucleus so this is the nucleus and the region of the nucleus that contains the dna is known as the nucleolus so this is the main difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes in eukaryotes the dna or the genetic material is enclosed within a membrane bound nucleus whereas in prokaryotes the dna is not enclosed within the nucleus in fact prokaryotes lack the nucleus entirely they don't even have that structure in eukaryotes the nucleus is bound by a membrane called the nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane and it contains the dna there are other differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes as well one main difference is the fact that eukaryotes have several membrane bound organelles and organelles are subcellular structures that each perform a specific function needed for the cell to function properly mitochondrion rough endoplasmic reticulum lysosomes smooth endoplasmic reticulum and golgi bodies are examples of organelles found in eukaryotes these organelles are not found in prokaryotic cells at all but that doesn't mean that these two types of cells do not share any similarities one of the main similarities is the fact that both have cytoplasm cytoplasm as we know is the jelly like substance within the cell in prokaryotes the DNA floats within the cytoplasm in eukaryotes all the organelles and the nucleus are embedded within the cytoplasm both prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells are covered by a plasma membrane or a cell membrane which covers the entire cell and protects the cell it also acts as a semi permeable membrane in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes they also have ribosomes now ribosomes are non membrane bound structures unlike organelles which are bound by a membrane ribosomes are not bound by a membrane they are small circular non membrane bound structures involved in protein synthesis and they are found in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes we'll talk more about the different organelles in eukaryotes in further videos as well prokaryotes also have a cell wall beyond their plasma membrane now i have not shown a cell wall here because this is an animal cell and animal cells do not have a cell wall however protists fungi and plants which are other types of eukaryotes they have a cell wall but their composition the cell wall composition differs between prokaryotes and eukaryotes and we'll talk more about that when we are talking in depth about prokaryotes so these are the similarities between the prokaryotes and eukaryotes Let's quickly summarize what we have learned the differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes do not have a membrane bound nucleus which is present in eukaryotes. Prokaryotes lack membrane bound organelles but eukaryotes have several. Prokaryotes are mostly unicellular organisms. Bacteria and archaea are majorly unicellular organisms. Eukaryotes can be unicellular or multicellular. 
protists are unicellular eukaryotes and some fungi are also unicellular several fungi and plants and animals are multicellular organisms prokaryotes have a single circular dna that floats in the cytoplasm even though in the picture the dna was like a mess of strands it eventually organizes into a circular shape in prokaryotes in eukaryotes there are multiple strands of linear dna arranged within the nucleus prokaryotes include all bacteria and archaea eukaryotes include protists plants fungi and animals let's not forget the similarities between them both have cytoplasm plasma membrane ribosomes and chromosomes prokaryotes do have dna in the form of chromosomes it just floats in the cytoplasm in a circular shape so these are the differences and similarities between prokaryotes and eukaryotes and we'll explore more about them in upcoming videos